everyone. Thank you so much. What an amazing video to follow as well. Uh, I'm Yasmin. I'm one of the HPB fellows at Virginia Mason in Seattle, and I'll be presenting our talk on um, predictors of difficulty in minimally invasive liver surgery, a multi-center retrospective comparison and validation of difficulty scoring systems. And uh, just as a plug as well, this is uh, uh, research that has come from the uh, AMILES study group, which is a uh, North American uh, registry that's been started by Dr. El Sadie and Dr. Cleary. Uh, this is my disclosure slide. I don't have any disclosures. Um, I'll keep this up for the requisite time. Uh, just some background, as we all know, um, the morbidity from hepatectomy has continued to decrease over the last five decades owing to improvements in perioperative care and surgical techniques. Um, as well, the uptake of minimally invasive liver surgery has really increased over the last two decades, uh, influenced mainly by education, surgical skills, and resources available to surgeons. Um, difficulty scoring systems came from uh, the Morioko um, uh, conference in Japan in 2014, at which time uh, several recommendations were given for uh, laparoscopy and robotic hepatectomy, uh, including a recommendation for use of difficulty scoring systems as they help to grade the complexity and difficulties of minimally invasive liver resections uh, and allow surgeons to uh, guide themselves and gauge the complexity of minimally invasive liver surgery that they want to undertake given their surgical skills and their uh, unique expertise. Following uh, the Morioka uh, Convention was published by uh, Bannon colleagues, the IWAT, uh, sorry, IWAT difficulty scoring system in 2014. This was the uh, initial model which contained three different categories of difficulty scoring systems. Uh, and it was further updated and published in 2016 um, with now four difficulty scoring systems, low, intermediate, advanced, and expert. They looked at different uh, categorizations such as the tumor location, tumor size, proximity to major blood vessels, the extent of liver resection, the use of a hand assist or hybrid model, and then liver function. Since 2016, there's been several other difficulty scoring systems that have been published. I just highlight three here, um, but including the Halls Southampton difficulty scoring system published by uh, Dr. Abu Halal's group in the UK, um, as well the um, uh, Institute, sorry, my French is not good, um, uh, Montessori, Montessori uh, difficulty scoring system from France, and then as well the Hasegawa difficulty scoring system again from Japan. Um, for our purposes, we chose to highlight the uh, IWAT difficulty scoring system as well as the Hall Southampton difficulty scoring system, as these are the uh, two that have been the most validated uh, and uh, accepted models uh, at the time of our analysis. In terms of our methods, uh, we identified 1,776 patients in the AMILES database. Um, we excluded patients who did not undergo uh, hepatic resection uh, and included patients who underwent wedge resections, segmentectomies, or formal hepatectomies. And we identified 1,051 patients uh, who underwent MIS hepatectomies. This is a retrospective review, apologies, there is an update in my slides that didn't carry over, but of eight uh, centers involved in the uh, AMILES liver registry. Uh, the AMILES liver registry itself is an America's uh, minimally invasive liver surgery registry um, that currently has eight centers involved and continues to recruit and enroll further centers for participation. Um, all of these uh, cases were scored uh, based on the IWAT and the Hall Southampton difficulty scoring system. Um, we used SPSS to uh, analyze our data, uh, and uh, binary um, correlation was assessed using chi-squared or Fisher's exact test, and then linear correlation was used, uh, assessed, sorry, using the um, Mantel uh, Hansel's uh, uh, analysis system. In terms of our results, um, we found that the uh, Hall Southampton difficulty scoring system correlated with operative outcomes within the low, moderate, and high groups uh, in terms of the operative time, estimated blood loss, and length of stay. 
Uh, there was no correlation in terms of the um, conversion to open or post-operative complication in terms of linear correlation between the three groups. Um, however, uh, with uh, post-operative complications, there was a significant difference between the low and moderate groups within these scoring systems. Um, just to highlight as well, we had two uh, expert or um, extremely difficult cases that were identified, but they were excluded from our analysis given the outlier ph uh, phenomenon. In terms of the uh, IWAT difficulty scoring system, um, we again scored patients based on the low, moderate, high, and expert uh, classifications. We had no patients within the expert group within our cohort, um, but we found that there was no uh, statistically significant linear correlation um, between operative or post-operative outcomes uh, using this scoring system itself. Um, so in terms of our findings, we found that the Hull Southampton difficulty scoring system did correlate with uh, operative uh, findings such as estimated blood loss, operative time, and length of stay. And we found that there was no uh, significant correlation with increasing difficulty based on the uh, IWAT difficulty scoring system within our population. Uh, the strengths of our study was that it was a large retrospective study involving eight high volume uh, HPV centers, and this is a validation of the difficulty scoring systems within a North American population. Uh, weaknesses that we look at as well, this is a retrospective review, and we were unable to uh, assess follow-up time as well as longitudinal variables within our database. Um, as well, given this is a multi-center uh, uh, review, there's variation in surgical technique, expertise, or preference that should be accounted for. Um, and then we highlight as well the paucity of extremely high difficulty cases uh, in the uh, Hall Southampton difficulty scoring system and as well the absence of expert uh, classification within the IWAT difficulty scoring system. Um, so in our North American population in conclusion, we found that the Hall Southampton difficulty scoring system uh, significantly correlated with uh, operative outcomes such as blood loss, operative time, and length of stay, and we found no correlation with the IWAT difficulty scoring system. Um, one thing that uh, we felt maybe reflecting these differences is the difference between the East versus West populations. Um, obviously, the IWAT difficulty scoring system uh, was validated in a population that had a higher rate of uh, HCC resections, whereas our population has a higher rate of colorectal um, liver metastasis resections. Uh, and obviously, there's variation between techniques and um, uh, population um, outcomes between those groups as well. Um, uh, in conclusion, the Hall Southampton difficulty scoring system was uh, predictive of operative outcomes and uh, did correlate with postoperative outcomes such as complications between the low and moderate group. Um, but further study will be needed uh, within a prospective database to follow more longitudinal variables, further follow up, uh, and to help better delineate the predictive potential for um, difficulty scoring systems within minimally invasive liver surgery. Uh, these are my references and I welcome any questions. Thank you.